All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to Direwolf 21.16. Guys, we're going to start off today by doing a cool montage of me taking on a roguelike dungeon. I hope you enjoy. Oh, I just broke something.
All right, guys, so with that uh, that montage done, we did go ahead and get a heck ton of spawners. We come down here. Yeah, we have all of these. We end up getting a few zombie spawners, a bunch of skeleton spawners, one Enderman one, and quite a few... Um, quite a few creeper spawners which was something i was extremely happy about uh oh we also have spider spawners in there somewhere unfortunately they didn't tell us until we break them out so we're gonna have a whole episode dedicated to that so no worries uh but we're gonna be working on some storage options today we're gonna be filling these areas in i've been thinking you know we're gonna have we're gonna be using the spruce wood but i think i was gonna put like a green accent line through here but if we were to put the uh the compact drawers there, I think that would be a pretty good idea uh, because here we're going to be putting the auto crafting setup and here and then we're going to be putting the inscriber automation up here. Uh, so each one of these guys will be uh, set up there so we can just go ahead and hit it and it'll start to auto craft. But let's go ahead and make the drawers um, so that we can go ahead and, and have a good time. So I'm going to make up a bunch of chests. All right. So we go here, drawer, and I think we're just going to do the one-off ones. All right, and the reason for that is because we're going to have quite a few of these, and each one that we do will require um, a drawer controller to be set up for it. So this is going to take a while. All right, so that's how they're going to look. These are We're going to have them in each corner here. Yeah, I think that's going to look good. All right, so I'm going to knock this out, and I'll be right back. All right, so that is two stacks of drawers set up. Now, we can hold 128 different items in there. Now, typically, these are going to be like the, the bulk items, like the appetite, maybe the fluorite, uh, nether quartz, stuff like that, things that uh, we're not going to be compressing, though we might actually compress the nether quartz into like a, a compacting drawer. But like for soul sand or dimensional shards, we're going to leave those in places like here and we have a whole lot of room to expand so i'm super excited about that but we need a total of one two three four we need a total of 16 compacting drawers um so these are pretty simple to make though we do need some of those guys and we're already out of stone okay so i need to go ahead head back over to the original base and get these smelted up all right guys so we got those compacting drawers in there and if you're wondering how i did the vertical half slabs uh, these are from Chisel and Bits. If you go ahead and make their saw, uh, the diamond bit saw, you can basically just slice these in half and then place them. They do. They are a little bit finicky to place, uh, just so you guys are aware, but they do place um, pretty well, actually. They're, they're pretty easy once you get the hang of it. But, uh, yeah, now it's time to go ahead and hook these guys up. Um, so I only have, let's see. This is running down to the reactor. Um... So we need to run this over. Okay. Where's this going? This goes here, so we don't want to worry about this one. This goes outside. Yep, here we go. Perfect. All right, so again, we're gonna we're gonna cover this all up here, and the cool thing is we can actually just run up a cable and then use cable facades to make this look good. Uh, we're gonna be using that reinforced stone on the back. Once we automate the production of smooth stone, it'll go along a lot quicker. So we need to we're gonna set this one up here. Um, so for the time being, we're gonna run it really cheaply. Um, we have some cable. Do we have enough? I don't think so. We got enough now. All right, so these guys only, they, they have a max of eight channels that they can process, which is a, a big gripe that a lot of people seem to have with uh, applied energistics is the, the channels. Um, yep, but well we do have enough cable for it, which is amazing. Look, we can just come right into the side. So what we need to do is patch that up so it looks good. All right. Oh, I fell down. Let's go ahead and make an external storage. Or what is it called? A uh, storage bus? Yes, it's called a storage bus. ME storage bus. Perfect. So we got this guy here. Uh, ME interface. Bam. Got you. Bam, ME storage bus. Pretty, pretty cheap to make once you have kind of an infrastructure set up. 
Uh, but I do, yeah, we're out of those. We can go, we need to automate the, the production of the processors here real quick. All right, and then we also need a drawer controller. Now, these do have a limit of the range that they can go for, which is why, that's why we have these, these, these breaks here. Um, is so that these can each have a drawer. They're not going to interfere with each other. Uh, and then all in all, it'll be much easier. So we're just going to basically hide it. Um, let's see. It would actually probably be better. We need to take all this down. If we just went straight up here. Yes. And then we'll use the cable facade here. Um... Yeah, because the drawer controller needs to be here. We're actually going to use the bottom one first. Drawer controller here. Whoop. Whoop. Breaking blocks, I should be. Perfect. So we're just going to put one here temporarily, like so. Uh, and then now it will recognize all of those. From the storage controller, so we're gonna we're gonna put some sediment stone here. We also need to make a storage drawer key. Let's make that real quick so we can lock all of these down. Yep, and then, then to to do that, it's super duper easy. All you need to go ahead and do is just right click the drawer controller, and if we look on the other side, all these are locked. So now we can only get this guy into here, and then we're also gonna set this up. Um, let's see. Yes, yeah, so now it now it understands what's in here. Uh, bidirectional extract insert bidirectional. That's what we want. We want a priority of a thousand, so it knows. All right, so it should start to put items into here once it gets them. Is my goal. Let's see. Does this number go up at all? Okay, so we should have sixty-five here if it's working right. Yep, it is working properly. So it's very important, guys, to set this up. I know refined storage is a little bit different. It should be kind of automatic. Um, but for this one, you have to put these guys here. It, it won't know to put it in here unless you, you set it to, if that makes sense. So what we need to actually do now is get an exporter. Like a you. And then three of these guys and then some of this guy. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is export. We're gonna, we're gonna actually break this guy again, unfortunately, and then we're going to replace him with an exporter, like so. Put this here, put that there. Device online. Should be just throwing them in here. Oh, we've already hit the limit, cool. Um, yep, let's make some good upgrades. Got a lot of emeralds. <sighs> Not a lot of sticks, though. So those in there. And then we're also going to get a void upgrade on here. Is there a way to automate obsidian, by the way? Obsidian. Ice charge. Pure daisy from blaze mesh. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Um... Solidification chamber, not a bad idea. Ooh, a fluid mixer. We can make that pretty easy. Blast chiller. Yep, this is what we're going to be using. We can make a pump in the nether, so we can automate uh, automate that guy pretty easy. Okay, so let's grab another acceleration card. Make this set up even quicker. Now if we look, yeah, look at that. Like 100 items a second. That's blazing quick. All right, so I'm going to get the other items we want to put in here ready. We'll do cobblestone, gravel, blackstone. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we throw this guy here. You're going there. There, there. I don't think we're going to, like, really worry about how these guys are sorted, like in the direction. Um, but they definitely need to be in here. We're also going to take this ore, put it in. And so I'm just going to basically sit here for a little bit and clear out all of the junk. Granite, diorite. Oops, I didn't grab the add data site. And then we're going to do these three yahoos. So bam, 
Bam, bam. And it would actually be smart for me to go ahead and disable the quarries while I'm doing this. So we don't have anything like going on. So on to activate. This is going to pause. We are going to have to move that, by the way. Oh. On to activate. So that's going to wait. Yeah, but as you can see, it's definitely working. Oof. We have kind of destroyed the nether. All right, perfect. All right, and then coal, we're actually going to be putting up in here, like so, because there are three different versions of it. Uh, we're going to be doing this for redstone and lapis as well. So redstone will be here, lapis will be here. Because a lot of recipes do require both, so we're going to have that. Uh, let's get fluoride out, and then we're going to be using gold up there as well. So it's going to be a little bit expensive to set this up, but in the long run, it's going to be extremely helpful. So there's that. Then like iron will be over here. Yeah, so as you can see, it's going to store all of our items up on, on there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these filled in for now, and then I'll... I'll come back once we have all of this updated, and as you can see, we're freeing up a whole bunch of space on our drives, just for those like one-off items. All right, so we got majority of this area set up here. Just want to show you guys real quick. I was able to add in a little bit more. Uh, so we have uh, this one all good to go. Uh, this one does consist of the gold and all that. So I actually want to go ahead and reactivate the two quarry, or builders, I guess, that we went ahead and disabled. So give me one second here. All right, you're enabled. I might have just reset that on accident, so it's going to take it a while for it to kind of catch back up, which is okay. Um, but let's go over to the nether. All right, and you're good to go again. Yep, it is currently going. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go ahead and hit slash back. <clears throat> And here we are, perfect. So I also want to show you guys, I did go ahead and set up the elevator going up here. We're going to set up our processing floor um, as well as our, our pneumatic craft stuff here. And then we have our Batania thing here. Now I was going to put a big glass dome on here, uh, but I actually think I'm going to leave it all um, open. Uh, kind of just open to the sky here, very natural. But we have th these kind of pillars going up. They remind me a lot of, uh, if you guys have seen Lord of the Rings, when Gandalf fights uh, Saruman, or... So, if I uh, Saruman up on top of the, the one of the towers, which is called the, the two towers, because you have the one at Mordor and the one over at Isengard. Yeah, it looks like the, the top of the tower at Isengard. So I think it looks pretty cool, uh, but we're going to have a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and we desperately need to get some auto... Um, processing going up because we have 5,000 iron ore and stuff like that. So we need to kind of build some stuff. So I'm going to put all of this away for now. All right. And then, again, I, I we're going to go ahead and put the, the all the items in here that we'll be processing up. So nothing to worry about. But we're going to be working here for a little bit. Uh, now, I do have a hole somewhere around here. Yeah, over there. So right here, we're going to go ahead and actually move this uh, kind of over to here. We're going to run a cable up and then kind of back so that we can go ahead and have uh, all of this here automated. So the cool thing about building a tower with applied energistics in mind is you can make these little pathways for the cables and stuff like that so you can get uh, your items everywhere. So we're going to be working quite a bit there. So we need to get into mechanism all right and this is going to require a bit of work on our end um let's go back head on back hope cat blocks is on back home all right we're going to be stealing all of these guys so energized smelter uh you some cable all right and then these guys and these guys. So yeah, let's go on, head on back there. 
Perfect. So if we look here, the middle is open. This is going to be our auto processing with our energized smelter, enrichment chamber, stuff like that. Uh, I don't think we'll be getting into the, the times five stuff with mechanism this pack because I just got done with it and I kind of don't want to do it again. But we're going to be putting the other machines kind of around here. Uh, this is going to be a, like a, a big window here. We're going to have something down here. But this whole area has been kind of designated for the mechanism processing. And we're going to have, let's see, one, two, three. We can have four of these processing units going. Uh, or we can have three, but that won't look good. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have four. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look at these metallurgic and... All right, so we're going to take some wireless power up with us. I don't think we have... We do have one left here. Perfect. All right. Uh, I would like an easier way to access this guy to link up our stuff, but that's okay. So we're here. Um, we have you here, output, link up, bam, blam. Perfect, metallurgic infuser, metallurgic infuser. We're gonna be, yep, this one's our carbon, this one's our redstone. We do need some iron to process in here. All my irons over here. So that's going to get processed up. Uh, we probably do need to go ahead and make some more carbon as well. And then the, en oh. the enrichment chamber we're going to put here. We're going to throw some coal into here so we can get that processed. And as you can see, it's far enough away we can't hear it, which is crazy. So I don't have to worry about any like muffling, stuff like that. Uh, and it's going to keep working for us. So our goal is to make, again, four of those smelters, um, the enrichment chambers and all that. So we're gonna do smelting factory. We need three more of these guys. Uh, so we definitely need the steel. So I'm gonna go ahead and craft those guys up and then we'll work on all the piping and stuff like that and how we're gonna do it. All right guys, so we got a little bit of progress that has been made. We have these guys here. Uh, I decided just to go with three because I think it looks a little better than having the four here like this i think it looks it might look better uh so yeah we got the energized smelters down here and the enrichment chambers up top here now we do need to get power to these guys and these were all charged in my inventory because of the flux capacitor here that's why they have power in them i was kind of confused for a second there as well all right so we've got uh the power we're going to be probably coming from the back here on each of these guys we're going to be putting a block behind each of these once I do have the uh, the the ore or the the reinforced stone smelted again, we definitely need to automate the the production of this, because sitting here trying to to make the smooth stone is definitely uh, aggravating. Um, but yeah, so we need to worry about this. I did run a cable up here. We need to worry about get, getting items into here. Uh, so we're gonna do something a little bit different than I I normally do. Um, Let's see, we do need this. Uh, we are going to be having a chest. Oh, I can't spell chest. A chest that kind of acts as the buffer for all of these guys. It's going to be kind of up here. Um, I think we're going to put it like right here. The cool thing is we won't be able to see it from down below. Um, and so on this side, this side, and this side, we're going to have... Uh, the ores being exported into here. Uh, so we need to kind of go ahead and connect these guys up. Like so. All right. And then we're just going to kind of run this cable over here out of the way. We still do need to run the power cables as well. All right. This is kind of a temporary cable setup because I do want to switch this over to a dense cable eventually. Um... Yeah, we're going to have one, two, three, and then we're going to have kind of a similar situation for the exporting down below. Um, though this one, we're probably just going to do an iron chest because this one's going to have one exp or importer on here. Yep, right here. And that'll go into the system. So we will put this here like so. Emmy import bus there. And back into the system there. Perfect. All right. So 
We actually need to switch this up a little bit already. Okay. So this needs to actually be moved one block back. Like so. And then we have these guys here. We're just going to run them through the, through the top here. Alright, and the reason we do that is because we do need to pipe in the cable, or the, the items here. Like so. And so we'll need to come back here and set that up to pull items out. Um, and now we just need to kind of worry about power to these guys. Oh, we do also need to make one more set of these. And then we are going to make a special tool from at mechanism. Oops, missed it. This guy here. I think I actually already have a configurator. I do. Perfect. So we can set these guys up to pull out. Perfect. All right. So here, now it pulls out. Any items that go in there will be split amongst the three of these. And then we had to grab these as well. So we're going down here, down, down, down. Pulling out the bottom, bam. All right, to go into there, and then it goes into our system. And actually, we're going to put one more in here. Those will push items back in. And each of these is going to need two capacity cards and some energy cards. But we're just going to set it up so that it's doing iron for now because we, we really need uh, iron to be produced. Uh, and then we'll also have like another few things here as well. So we can do up to um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different items. So that's pretty neat. All right. So power, like I was saying... We've got a few dimensional cells here. And we do need some power cable from mechanism. All right, so we got 16 cable. That should be plenty. All right, so we're just going to put this guy here out on all sides. Bam, 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 like so. Or come back one so that we can put a block there. And then, yeah, we're going to add an extra one so that just in case we want to switch this up a little bit, which I don't think we will, uh, but it'll be able to like support it. And then we can make it look good as well. So this is ready to go. Let's go ahead and get some iron ore here. Like so. And... This is like a maze back here now. It's amazing. I'm sorry. So this should be exporting. Yep, these are getting them. Um, let's set up input. Output out the bottom. Don't worry about anything else. Eject on. Eject on. All right. So then now these are getting processed. So input out the top, output out the bottom. Input, output, and eject needs to be turned on. All right, look at that, there we go. So when this thing fills up with items, it's gonna go over to here. Then this thing is going to be good. Then this thing is going to be good. So we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit better as well. With some upgrades. So let's see here. What are these guys called again? These guys here. We're going to make eight of these. We got four. That's okay. Because these guys are going to be upgraded first. And then this guy. So what this does is if you look, it gives it another few slots to use. I'm 
All righty. So now that's going to be processing a whole bunch of iron up for us. And we should actually start to see the iron increasing. Yes, we sure do. So we need to get that set up pretty quick. Um, I do have the storage buses for it. I do have a drawer controller. So bam, here like so. Those are locked. ME controller. All right, grab the iron. Okay, so any more iron entered into our system will go right into here. Let's take a look. Yep, going right in. Perfect. All right, so we do have that set up. So this is all working like a dream. Now we are going to put speed upgrades and efficient or uh, uh, energy upgrades in here eventually. So this will all go away. It'll all look good, different colors and stuff like that. Um... But what are we missing for those upgrades? All right, check it out, guys. So these have all been upgraded to the better tiers. So these are the next level up. And the further along you get in these upgrades, obviously, the more and more slots become available. I think the max tier ones are the purple. I have, like, eight in here. So, like, that is a heck ton of processing, especially at full speed. It only requires, like, 200 FE per ticket. At max efficiency and max uh, max speed. So definitely awesome. So we're going to go ahead and let that process for a while. How much iron do we have now? Ooh, we are shooting up in the value. Check that out. And let's have a look here. How is this looking? Okay, look at all that iron. That's all of our iron we got. So after that all processes, we will uh, go ahead and switch over to like osmium or something like that. So that'll be freaking sweet. All right, so that's been patched up. All we got to do is just add that in there and then reconfigure that. Uh, but for now, guys, we have our processing system set up. I'm going to clean this up for the thumbnail. And we have our storage set up. So that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you guys did enjoy the episode, please do hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.